morning, Ma. Taste this. Mmm. Oh, it's awful. What's the matter with it? It's expired. <laughs> But sometimes it's good after the date. I just wanted to check. Yeah. You know what's also a shame? What? When you sit down and your thighs squish out to twice their size. That's a shame. <laughs> We're your friends, honey, your family. Now, nothing so terrible that we wouldn't understand. You can tell us what is it. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Girls. Oh, <laughs> Sophia. She faded. Oh, are you all right, honey? I, I don't know what happened. I just saw stars and blackness. It was like being at the planetarium. Yeah. <laughs> it was the shock of the news. Oh, I'm sorry, Blanche. No, no, that's quite all right. It was shocking news. I would have fainted myself, only I was afraid I'd fall face down and chip my beautiful teeth. <laughs> what shocking news? Blanche is pregnant. Holy cow. If there's anything that I can do for you to improve our relationship, I'd be happy to oblige. There is one small thing. Uh, in the morning, when you go out in your robe to pick up the newspaper, wear your shorts. I just did a home pregnancy test. It's right here. It looks like a perfume sample. Put it behind your ears, Rose. See, it starts out red, and then if it doesn't change color, if it stays red, they say you're not pregnant. But if you are pregnant, then it turns light pink or light gray. I had drapes that color once. <laughs> I think it's called puce. Is that what puce is? I always wonder. That's what the decorator told me. Looks kind of lavender to me. Oh, I hated those drapes. Lavender's a great color on me. Brings out my eyes. Your eyes aren't lavender. Girls! <laughs> Blanche, who's the father? The father? Gee, I don't know. I got this doll on my 10th birthday. Oh, I can't believe I've kept her all these years. Her hair's falling out, her clothes are all worn. She smells of mothballs. Hey, I may not be Aunt Margaret, but I'm still your mother. <laughs> not about Big Daddy. Oh, he's a very special man. He has truly been a father to everybody in our town. <laughs> Your mother must have been a very forgiving woman. Thank you for flying Air Florida. Hope you enjoyed your flight. Thank you for flying Air Florida. I hope you enjoyed your flight. Oh, I certainly did. And I want to especially thank you for that pillow from first class. There's so much fluff here. Oh, you're welcome. But that was Julie. I'm the one that got you the Dramamine and the packs of Smokehouse Almonds. <laughs> Can I bother you one more time? Ten packs is all I can give you. I told you that on the plane. I just want to know which way to the baggage plane. Oh. Got a surprise for you. Oh, did you get me something? What is it? What did you buy for me, Daddy? Well, nothing, sugar. Oh, fiddle de dee. <laughs> fiddle de dee. This is so much fun. It's like being in Gone with the Wind. <laughs> Sophia, you just don't understand. Please, Rose, what I forgot, you'll never know. <laughs> Girls, look at this. <laughs> oh, you know, I remember wearing this outfit the night George took me to Woodstock. Oh, what a night. I will never forget it. Listening to the music of Mr. Richie Havens and Mr. Bob Dylan and then making love in the mud. <laughs> you went to Woodstock? Well, actually, it was the movie, but afterwards we did go home and make love in the mud. <laughs> I guess the 60s were a confusing time for all of us, Blanche. And she was the first woman in St. Olaf's to ever have a pilot's license. Oh, really? Well, we have something in common, Lily. I was the first woman in my hometown ever to have a pilot. You <laughs> mean that? You know, this was a mistake. What's going on? Oh, Mr. Longfellow got in by mistake. He is not for sale. Isn't that right, Mr. Longfellow? Yes, it is, Rose. <laughs> In my opinion, it is time to say bye-bye to Mr. Longfellow and Elvis. I mean, what's the use of having a garage sale if we can't part with anything? How much for this hockey stick? $1,100. <laughs> Dara, 
Dorothy. This isn't an ordinary hockey stick. Bobby Hull used this. This is a piece of history. It's a piece of junk. And the price tag says four dollars. Four fifty. I'll take it. Uh, OK, but listen, before you go, uh, come into the house with me. I'll show you the kind of wood oil that I use on it. Wood oil? Are you buying that? Of course not. Everybody knows you use paraffin wax on parched wood. Come on. Six dollars. No. I'll give you ten. I don't want to sell it back. I'll give you 25 and don't ever show your face around here again. So. Um, he didn't want it. He said there's a nick in it. We have to have a return policy. Oh. Hey, Rose is a good kid, and I like her a lot. But after all is said and done, I would sell Dorothy to the gypsies to get that bedroom. <laughs> Barbecues? We used to have the most wonderful ones back home. I can remember sitting out under a big old tree with the Darcy triplets, Hank, Bo, and Dove, eating and talking and laughing. And then long towards the end of the meal, why the boys always got into a fight over who was going to get to lick the barbecue sauce from my fingertips and kiss away the little drop little butter that always drizzled down my chin. <sighs> Is it gotten awful hot out here? I'll go get the lemonade. When I think of my father, I always picture him pulling a giant tuna up Main Street. <laughs> Well, who doesn't, Rose? Well, this is the first time I've ever been here. Well, howdy, Blanche. Hi there, Blanche. Ladies. No, I'm wrong. I think the museum did have its Christmas party here. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, they have a mechanical bull in the back room. I read about it in the Sunday supplement. <laughs> what on earth do you do with a mechanical bull? <laughs> Introduce him to a mechanical cow. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Longfellow? Yes, it is. Please! <laughs> Let's go tell everybody that the sale's over. Oh. You wait right there. I'll be right back. <laughs>